Well, all right, minders, welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor. I still have a really hectic schedule, uh, so we're just going to look at some products today, some new things that have crossed my desks and I thought you would be interested in. This is going to be the headliner. Now, many of you are probably familiar with the portable painter. Uh, I'm not going to do a review here today, but uh, this has been out for a while. Steve Padden. Uh, an individual who uh, brought this to market himself, did a great job, great design, wanted something he himself could use. Uh, and that always ends up being the basis for really great design in a product that he could go on location with and easily sketch. If you want some reviews on this, uh, just go to YouTube and search portable painter and you'll be presented with scads of them. I'll have a link to his website below. Essentially it's it's a portable palette, 12 color palette, little half pans which uh, can actually come out or you can put little dots in there to, to fasten them in. I have the portable palette set up for my, my Mary Blue paints. The gist of it is, just quickly for those of you who aren't familiar, is that it folds up and then closes up this way and then fastens with this little metal clip. You have something about the size of a thick iPhone. Uh, in, in addition, this pouch is kind of new. I don't know if he's shipping all of them with this or not. I think he was doing it for Europe. Not sure about the States. Uh, this is a new one, never been used, but he also includes a travel brush if you buy a new one, a double pointed one. So if you take this end out, you have two sizes of a little travel brush. The idea is that when you fasten these uh, cups to the side, it sits flat easily on any surface or even over, imagine this is your leg or your knee, fits over your knee. I even managed to find a really good way to attach it to my etcher satchel easel with uh, the bungee that comes with that. It just sits out to the side. Uh, a bungee comes around. I will link to, I've done two videos on this, a brief review and uh, a plein air session where I used this and attached it to an etcher satchel. I'll link to those episodes below if you want to see what I've done with it. But a nice product. Really great product. So why am I bringing it up? Say hello to Portable Painter Micro. And if you've been watching my channel for long, you know how much I love individuals that come up with products that they can take to market. I'm just, I'm really impressed that uh, Steve is still uh, thinking and trying to come up with other things. There has a, been a real surge in micro palettes. Now, I tend to use metal palettes mostly, which is why you won't see me using this a lot. It's not because I don't like it. I use uh, magnetic clip-on fastening a lot, so there's that. I still think it's a fantastic design. This works really well with a lot of painters' process. The other thing is it's great for uh, painters who like to hold their sketchbook, uh, not even use an easel because of the, f the way this fits over the knee. Uh, I don't tend to hold my sketchbook much because of a wrist issue. Makes my hand go numb. So, a lot of it's just preference. But I still think it's a fantastic design. So take a look at this. Um, this has a little top. It just pops off. Then uh, this palette folds out. Same little fastening uh, system, but now uh, the case that it was in fastens to this side. The top turns over and fastens to this side. And voila, you have a little six pan micro palette. Isn't that cool? And it's got a little thumb and finger hold. Number of ways I was experimenting with this, you, you can hold it like that, you know, with your fingers on either side in between your fingers, whatever. But uh, for such a micro palette, look at all this mixing area. You could put water in here, or if you're just gonna use a water brush, like I usually do with micro palettes, you just have lots of mixing area. So really kind of impressive for a micro palette, I think. And I was fiddling around with this because again, I would not sit here and hold this and paint uh, just because of my wrist issue. Uh, I would try to attach uh, it to my sketchbook which is why I like metal palettes, magnetic clips so much. But watch this. So just happen to have my Hanamula uh, sketchbook here, tone sketchbook. 
Take a small binder clip like this, clip it to the top of your sketchbook, turn this so that this part is facing up like this. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. And it clips right in with a binder clip. And this is how I tend to like to paint with micro palettes. So that little attachment I think is really neat. So that's the Portable Painter Micro. Again, I'll have a link to his website. Go check it out. If you're interested in the Portable Painter Classic, go check it out. Oh, and I almost forgot. He has uh, this little extra set that you can get of six uh, additional half pans. I s presume so you can switch out colors if you want. Or replace uh, some of them with a full pan, which is nice. So uh, you could put you know, your most used color, maybe some uh, gouache, some white gouache, who knows, whatever, however you want to customize it. So you're not limited to just the half pans like you are in the classic. Very nice touch. And those come with the uh, double stick adhesive dots so you can make sure they stay in. So my hat's off to Steve Padden. I think this is great stuff. Check it out if there's something that you're interested in. All right, what else have we got? Well, I was contacted by Jared Cullum. Jared Cullum is a fellow YouTuber, and I'm always excited by stuff like this because YouTube has just been a hotbed for creativity and bringing things to market again, just like with the micro palette that you couldn't otherwise do, uh, you know, because of having to sell it to a company or get sponsorship or get somebody else to publish it. Anyway. Uh, I like the fact that Jared Cullum, number one, he's a professional illustrator, uh, top-notch. Number two, he's a fellow YouTuber, um, has a, a young but growing channel. On his YouTube channel, he does a lot of gouache, uh, more realistic stuff. He even builds palettes, which is I find fascinating, some of the stuff that he's done. Anyway, he's brought his own graphic novel to market. I guess he's using a publisher. Uh, he can comment below and maybe uh, tell you what he thinks is important. Has a nice endorsement from James Gurney. It's always exciting to me when seasoned professionals get involved in YouTube and bring us content that we can all uh, enjoy and get excited about. He doesn't do this kind of content really on YouTube, but he does a lot of gouache. Now, what I find fascinating about this is uh, it's a graphic novel. It's a children's story, a good family story, maybe, to read or go through with a child, or if you have a child of reading age. Uh, and the whole thing's illustrated in watercolor. Rare, very rare, uh, if not unseen or unheard of. Uh, fully painted graphic novels are difficult to find. Just uh, delightful characters. Uh, I went through this book and you just find yourself immediately being pulled into the story. Great visual storytelling. I like things like this too. I like to show um, my viewers things like this just to get the idea in their heads that uh, there are so many things you can do with watercolor to inspire that their uh, watercolor does not have a very tight niche in terms of look and approach. Uh, so many ways you can use it. And I've brought books to you before, uh, especially during the Christmas episodes. Illustrators that do top-notch work with watercolor. A lot of variety and style. So I hope you'll check out uh, Jared's book. It is on Amazon. I'll have a link. I'll also have a link to his YouTube channel. And this may be something that uh, somebody in your family would love to look at. Or maybe you have a budding watercolorist who would just be inspired by thinking, uh, you know, I never thought I could do this kind of thing with watercolor. I mean, he spent some time, some real time on this, and I think he's working on another book now. All right, so there's that. Okay, another new product. This is a little bit unusual for me. Uh, I don't normally use student grade watercolor, but uh, this is a bit unusual. Faber Castell, which is mainly in the pen and pencil business, markers, that sort of thing, 
has decided to put out a watercolor set, pan set. Um, there's actually three. There's a 24, a 36, and a 48 color set. This is the 36. They sent me to take a look at it. Again, I don't normally review student grade paints. This falls into what they call their creative studio line. That's just a fancy way of saying hobby or student grade. Uh, right away, I was very impressed with the case. Uh, not your typical uh, plastic watercolor palette case. Very nice, slick, sort of a, if you know what the bulletproof glass of the Mission Gold palettes is like, this is much like that. Huge amount of mixing area. This 36 color set has got uh, three fluorescents and three iridescents or metallics. And I've played with it a little bit. Uh, the colors are very vibrant. My guess is that uh, some dyes are used to bolster the vibrancy. They were fairly transparent. I didn't get a lot of chalkiness or muddiness. So uh, for sketch work, it's not something I would be afraid to use. I really don't have anything to compare it to because I'm not a reviewer of student grade paints. I fully support the idea of buying student grade paints. Unlike paper, okay, paper I'm a little bit more of a stickler about. When it comes to paints, I think that's an area you can compromise if you're trying to save money. It's just not something I do uh, mainly for the light fastness and pigment loads. I just don't want to buy two sets of supplies. I'll leave it to other artists on YouTube to review the student grade paints. And I think there are some good sets out there. Now I haven't used this enough to say this is a great set, but Faber-Castell is one of my favorite manufacturers of art supplies. I love their quality. As you're probably aware, uh, if you've watched this channel long, you know that Albert Durer watercolor pencils are my favorite watercolor pencil. I just absolutely love them. And so now they have a watercolor set. The set uh, has a built-in little sponge here, and it's got this little water brush. Which I haven't tried yet, but I will. But I wasn't disappointed by any of the colors. I probably sampled half of the colors and uh, was satisfied that they're pretty vibrant and transparent. Now here's where it gets a little more interesting. Faber-Castell has a numbering system for all of their colors. Uh, from colored pencils to watercolor pencils. Uh, both In both lines. The Creative Studio line, and this is from the Fine Arts Quality line, or the Art Quality line. And all of those colors match up. And these new watercolors are no exception. All right, so let's take a look. This is 219, Deep Scarlet Red. 219, Deep Scarlet Red, which I'm pretty sure is this one right here. Polychromos colored pencils. 219, Deep Scarlet Red. I actually don't have it in the Gold Faber. I think they do have it, but it's not in this set, the 219. If they did, it would match up. Albert Durer watercolor pencils. 219. Can't find any light fastness uh, information on this, so it's probably limited light fast. This may be the magenta, I'm not sure. I believe this is 219 right here, so I was off by one. Nope, I'm wrong, because that more closely matches that, I think. Well, let me see. Let me get it activated. Okay, yeah, I think I was right the first time. It's this one. All right, so, Albert Durer, Faber-Castell watercolors, Polychromos, and if I had it, Gold Fiber Aqua, Albert Durer marker. I just think that's neat. I just think that's really neat. So, so far, I'm liking these as a student grade or hobby grade uh, watercolor pan set. They don't sell these in tubes. Don't know if they ever will. From the thickness of the pan, it looks like a pretty generous amount of paint. So, now I have one more thing to show you. It's not a new thing, but it's fascinating. And it's kind of an ooh-ah thing. Okay, so I do some work with uh, Faber-Castell from time to time. I did some demo videos for their website. A year or two ago, uh, I've done reviews for them, both requested and unrequested. They know that I really love Albert Durer watercolor pencils. And we were talking, uh, we're talking about possibly doing some more videos, and I told them I have a nice set of Albert Durer's, but not a complete set. Well, they surprised the heck out of me. Uh, if you've never seen the Faber-Castell wood sets, 
they are amazing. Not something probably I would buy for myself, but just gorgeous. Uh, they do this for all their pencil lines and graphite and charcoal. This is the wood case set of the Albert Durer watercolor pencil line. Just blew me away. And they just sent it to me for the heck of it. And I'm sure hoping I would show it, which I'm more than happy to do. If you have money to burn, you will be absolutely enamored with this. All 120 Albert Durer watercolor pencils. Just wow. There, there's a empty set or tray under here of storage for anything else you might want to put. So while you're working, this could sit on your desk and you can see the whole set of pencils. The regular sets that they sell, uh, even the complete line, uh, the tens, you have trays that you have to lift out. I'll tilt this up, but this is just beautiful, this wood. So for me, it was a big surprise. They don't sponsor my videos, I'm telling you, other than sending these and hoping I'll show them to you. But we have no video agreement that, hey, you do this if I send you this kind of a thing. Uh, as I mentioned, we are in talks about doing some more content for uh, different things that they sell. And happy to do it. I love the products. Anyway, I thought you'd enjoy seeing that. For me, at least, it's a bit of a unicorn. Let me back out and give you a, a whole look. All right, thanks everybody. Appreciate you letting me show you these products. And I hope that was informative and fun. Thank you so much patrons for supporting this channel and we'll see everybody in the next video.